Hallelujah. All praise and glory to Jesus. I want to speak over your life and tell you no matter what you are going through, God is going to suddenly intervene in your situation. You may feel you are heading downward, but God will suddenly move in your circumstance and bring about a change. We look at Luke chapter 7 and we read from verse 11 onwards of that widow at Nain. What had happened? Her only son had died. It says there, verse 11 and 12, it says, Soon afterward he went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd were with him. As he drew near to the gate of the town, behold, a man who had died was being carried out. The only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and a considerable crowd from the town was with her. We read here that this widow is on the way to bury her only son. Everything seemed to be finished. Her life is on a downward trend. She's lost her husband. Now she's lost her son. Everything seems to be over. But suddenly Jesus intervenes. Suddenly Jesus stops that procession and speaks over that dead child and raises up her son. Come on, her life suddenly changed. Divine intervention. I want to tell you, God is going to divinely intervene in your circumstance, in your situation and bring about that change. You don't need to be troubled. You don't need to be stressed out. No one thing for sure. If you are leaning on God, if you have put your trust in God, he will not disappoint you. He will intervene in your situation. He will bring the change that's needed. You may feel nothing's happening right now. But one thing I want to tell you, the end will always be greater. Your end will always see God supernaturally moved in your circumstance and brought about a great testimony. This widow at nine, instead of heading to the grave, returned back home joyfully, returned back home restored you are going to be restored. You are going to experience the joy of the Lord. Why? Because God is going to intervene in your situation. God bless you.